This video is on monomials simplifying expressions. So here we actually have two things to do first. C cubed to the second power and negative three C to the fifth, all of that squared, we do those individually first. So C cubed to the second power, two times three gives me C to the sixth. Negative three squared is nine, I need to change that, and c to the power of 10 because two times five is 10. Okay, I fixed my mistake. Negative three squared or negative three times negative three is positive nine. We have to do this grouping separate from this grouping, then multiply them together. Now I multiply my coefficients. One times nine is nine, and on my c's, c to the six times c to the 10th is 16 because six plus 10 is 16. This video can be paused at any time for you to try them. You try number one. On well, number one, on the left side, two to the power of four is 16, and three times four gives me a to the 12th. On the right side, three times three gives me a to the ninth. My coefficient, 16 times one, is going to be 16, and my exponent, 12 plus nine on the A is going to be 21. Your answer is 16 A to the 21st power. Okay, this one's a little bigger. So on the left grouping, we have three squared, which is nine. Two times one is X squared. Two times four is X to the eighth. On the right, I have power, to a power to a power. So I can go inside out or inside outside in. On this one, I chose to go inside out. I chose to do everything in the bracket, ignoring the cubed first and say negative two squared is positive four, one times two is two. Then I applied this three and I said four cubed is 64 and two times three is six on the y's. Bring down this one. Now I'm ready to multiply my coefficients. Nine times 64 is 576. I have x squared, no other x's, so it stays. On my y's, eight plus six is 14. Now I worked it a different way. Here I went inside out. Here I'm gonna go outside in. So I'm going to say three times two is six first. Then I'm going to go into this grouping. Six times one is negative two to the sixth power, which is 64. And six times one is six. And when you multiply, you get the same answer. So I have a power to a power to a power. Here I went inside out. I applied this square to the parentheses first, then this three. Here I went outside in. I applied the three to the two to get six. Then I applied the six to parentheses. Multiplication is commutative. You can multiply in any order you want. Okay, try number two. The first step on the left side, I'm going to apply this exponent of three to the one here, the one here, the four here. So two cubed is eight. One times three is g to the third. Four times three is h to the twelfth. On the right one, I have a choice. I can say two times three and then apply six to everything in parentheses, or I could apply the three to everything in parentheses first, then apply the two. I chose to apply the three to everything in parentheses first. Three times one is three, negative two cubed is negative eight. Three times four is 12 on the G's. Three times one is three on the H's. Now I'm going to apply this two to all of these. Negative eight squared is 64. Two times 12 is 24. Two times three is six. Bring down the left side. I've done all my exponents. Now I'm ready to multiply. Eight times 64 is 512. On my G's, three times 20, I'm sorry, three plus 24 is a total of 27 G's. On my H, 12 plus six is a total of 18 on my H's. Your answer is 512 g to the 27th, h to the 18th.
If you have a fraction in parentheses, that literally means two squared over three squared, which is four over nine, and then I would simplify it if I could, but I had two times one is two, two times one is two, two squared is four, three squared is nine. If you put two thirds in parentheses in your calculator to the power of two, it would give you four ninths. Let's look at this one. Negative three fourths C. If you'll remember that C could go in the numerator or it could stay out beside itself, but it could not go in the denominator. And all of that is to the third power. So negative three cubed is negative 27. Four cubed is 64. And on the C's, I have one times three is three C cubed. So your answer is negative 27 over 64 C cubed. Try number three. On number three, it's two times this one, two times this one, and two times this two. So four squared is 16. Five squared is 25. And n squared squared, two times two is four. And just wanna show you, your variable can be over by itself or it can be in the numerator, but it cannot be in the denominator. All right, try these. Number four, negative five squared is 25. Then I apply this to, and 25 squared is 625. Number five. One to the fourth power is one. Two to the fourth power is 16. I like to do them individually. I can do it in my head better that way. But technically, you could put one half to the power of four in your calculator, as long as you use parentheses. Number six. Negative four cubed, which is negative four times negative four times negative four. Negative four times negative four is 16. 16 times negative four is negative 64. If you put that in your calculator, always use parentheses around your base. It matters when you have an even exponent. If you have an odd exponent, you'll get the right answer either way. If you have an even exponent, you'll get the right answer. If I'm sorry, you'll get the wrong answer if you don't use parentheses. Number seven. Let me get this set up here. Number seven. Number seven says one half a square b square, all in parentheses, cubed. Here we have brackets. And inside parentheses, we have negative four B outside of parentheses, the square, and outside the brackets, the two. One half cubed is one eighth. On the A's, three times two is six. On the B's, three times two is six. Now on the right side, I have power to a power to a power. You can go inside out or outside in, I chose to go inside out. So I said negative four squared is 16 and one times two is B squared. Then I apply this outside to. So now I've got to say 16 squared, which is 25 and two times two gives me B to the fourth. Bring down the outside. One eighth times 256 is the exact same thing as 256 divided by eight. I already had the 256 in my calculator, so I just hit divided by eight, and now I got 32. Only have one A, so it stays to the sixth power. I got two B, six plus four more is a total of 10. Your answer is 32, A to the sixth, B to the 10th. Let's try one more, number eight. On number eight, I can go outside in or inside out. I went outside in, so I just said two times three is six. Now, six times one is six, negative two to the power of six is 64. You can put that in the calculator. I'll remind you how in just one moment. On the X's, six times one is six, 
And on the y, six times two is 12. Your answer is 64, x to the six, y to the 12. So negative two to the power of six. Let's remember how to do that. This is the power of button on your keyboard. It's above the six. Negative two to the power of six. If I do it wrong, let me do it wrong first. Negative two to the power of six. Try that again. Negative two, negative two to the power of six. Now let me put it in parentheses. Negative two parentheses, I can suppose to, to the power of six, I get the right answer. If you don't use parentheses, you don't get the right answer. And this is your video on simplifying expressions through multiplying them, multiplying monomials, and doing power to a power. Thank you.